Why would Dak give the Cowboys a better chance at winning than Cooper Rush, in your opinion? Because he's a better quarterback. It's really that simple. He can just do more things. Your offense, your playbook opens up more with Dak Prescott as your quarterback. But it doesn't matter what I think. It only matters what the doctor thinks. The guy that didn't have a medical license but thinks he does a doctor. Well, he thinks he's a doctor. He thinks he's a coach. He's a GM. What, what are his other titles he have, Skip? Well, you got a bunch of them. So what are that card? I mean, he got a, his business Co card is a sheet coach. of paper. Co <laughs> coach. General manager. Just call me coach. VP. Yeah. Head of uh, uh, marketing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Skip, look, and that's Cooper Rush is, 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 a, is a good quarterback. He's a, he's a decent backup who's played extremely well. But the defense has been outstanding. So if the defense is going to be outstanding, I believe that gives you a better chance to go further because ultimately, it's not about just winning games. It's not about just winning the division. Because clearly, you won games in the past. You won the division in the past. I think now is that for Cowboy fans, you mainly, is that, okay, can we get to the NFC Championship game? Can we take it a step further? Can we somehow get this team to Arizona? Skip, this is where the Cowboys, one of the worst third-down teams in the league. The 29th, 31% conversion rate. Only 27% of Russia's third and fourth down attempts have moved the chains. That's the fourth lowest among the 100 quarter, uh, uh, quarterbacks with 100 plus attempts. Mm -hmm. So in other words, what is happening is that winning has masked just how poorly Cooper Rush has played. Really? Yeah. That's what, and Tell me when it's, it's my turn. It's not your turn. Jed said, you know, he know you got a lot to say. Yep, that's he why he that. let me win, go first. Right. So with that being said, I just believe if the Eagles can get to 24, which I believe they can in this game because they're at home, the crowd knows it's going to be on their side and not against them. I believe they can get to 24, and I don't believe your I don't believe Cooper Rush can get to that number. Mm. So the point spread as we speak has shot up to Philly by six and a half. Yeah. My Cowboys are six and a half point underdogs at Philadelphia, and it's all because of no respect for Cooper yeah. Rush. Yeah. Period. End of story. Yeah. Las it Vegas. It was five and a half when they thought Dak was going to come back. Yeah, and, and it's edging up. By, by game time, it'll be seven and a half. Would you give me seven and a half right no, now? No, I'm going to give you nothing. Okay, well, it's because you're afraid of Cooper Rush and what he has done. No. So I have one resounding question for you and the NFL world. <laughs> what? When exactly did Dak Prescott turn into a combination of Tom Brady slash Patrick Mahomes? He's not. Well, all you've told me in your lifetime here <laughs> on Undisputed <laughs> is that Dak is middle of pack. Yes. Right? He's average at best. Well, does that make Cooper Rush garbage? No. Yes. That, that makes him... Well, if Dak is middle of the pack, and I'm looking at his numbers, your 29th and third down conversion, your 27th. Okay, I'm going to get to that. Okay. I'm going to get to that. Can anybody remember just five weeks back, opening night at Jerry World, what Dak Prescott didn't do? Do you remember that Dak Prescott went 14 of 29? That's sub-50% completions against Tampa Bay. You, you have just sort of marginal respect for their defense. We just watched Mahomes torch their defense and run wild on the defense. Yeah. Okay, so Dak goes 14 of 29 for a grand total of 134 yards, a QBR of 19.5. That's on a scale of 0 to 100. It was pathetic because he scored, his offense scored three points in that game. And if I can just f fast backward, one more game back to the playoff game at Jerry World that ended last season. What did Dak do in that game? Well, he trailed 23 to 7 going into the fourth quarter. As usual, he did his empty calorie thing and <laughs> brought them back to 23 to 17. But he still, the offense scored only 17. So in Dak Prescott's last two games, he scored three points and 17 points. Well, Cooper Rush and his five starts have scored 20, 20, 23, 25, and 22, as you keep beating me over the head with. But all five of his starts brought more points than Dak could bring in the last two starts. If you don't mind me asking, which of those five teams that Cooper Rush has beaten defense was better than Tampa's or better than San Francisco's? Well, again, Cincinnati went to the Super Bowl last year, and the Rams, you, you've, no, no, you you say Aaron Donald's the best defensive player this side of Lawrence Taylor, but, but, and they won the Super Bowl last they year. They did. And the Giants are way improved on defense, and it was at Giants on a Monday night. So you're willing to say right now that the Rams' defense is better than San Francisco's defense last year? I don't know. It's pretty good.
No, the Rams right now, the Rams yeah. defense right currently, as we sit here, they're not better than the 49ers well, defense I, was last year. I, I don't know about that. It's in the same ballpark. You, you've raved about Jalen Ramsey. Skip, and Yeah, but Skip, rem you remember what Bosa was doing to Dak? Mm -hmm. You remember what Armstead was doing? You remember yeah. how they was getting after him? Fred Warner, who's the best middle linebacker in football right now? You remember how they okay. was terrorizing Dak? Do, do, okay. I, do I need to remind you that last year your Broncos went to Jerry World and it was 30 to nothing yes. after three quarters to nothing? Do I need to remind you that Last year, Dak and company went up to Kansas City. Big stage game, late afternoon, right? Yeah. Wall to wall, sea to shining sea. Dak had the ball 12 times and managed to score three field goals and lost 19 to nine. So, so the problem here is that the longer Dak has been out, the better he's gotten which is horrifying to me because I know the truth of this. And the more Cooper Rush has won, the worse he's gotten in your eyes and the world's eyes. No, 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 eyes. no, 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 no. I, but I, but I, I just believe that winning masks a lot. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times you learn, you don't learn as much in a win as you do a loss. And the reason why you haven't learned anything is because you're winning and you're not correcting. I can see, and that's what, you know, uh, uh, I think one of, one of my good traits is, is that when you, as a former player, is that you don't look, Oh, they scored a touchdown, yay, or they got a sack, yay. I'm looking at why and how. And so when I when I when I evaluate the Cowboys, if I just look at they won the game and that's it, I'm gonna miss the point. You guys have some issues on offense. Okay, they I'm gonna I'm gonna address okay. those, and I appreciate you bringing that up. But allow me to say that this runaway media train that I've heard all week long, every show I turn on, <laughs> everywhere I turn, every every highlight show, all I hear is. Boy, they're going to be a lot better when Dak comes back. They will. Really? Yeah. Could have fooled me. <laughs> because, wait a minute, Cooper Rush is fifth in the league in QBR. Is that possible? He's the only quarterback in history, the history of this game, in his first four starts, had a 90-plus passer rating in all four. No one's ever done that before. But who, who knows? It, it, he's still just an intern. He's a jag, just another guy. Yep. He's an undrafted fraud waiting to be exposed on Sunday night in Philadelphia. I don't know, maybe he will be, because Philly is really good, which I've warned you about the whole offseason. You scoffed at me, but on offense, they are way, way, way better than what Cooper Rush has to work with, because he has a pretty pathetic supporting cast around him. It is miraculous what Cooper Rush has pulled off in these four wins with what he's working with. Well, the, that, that pathetic cast, uh, uh, cast will get better... Once that gets really? back. But okay, I'm not well, so that, that pathetic cast, they scored three points against Tampa. Three points. So how many points do you okay. think they would have scored with, with, with uh, Cooper Rush in it? Okay, just think about this. You have little to no respect for CeeDee Lamb. You say he's way overrated. You call Michael Gallup a JAG, just another guy. Yeah, Am just, I right yeah, about that? A, just, Which yeah. is why Pro Football Focus, as we speak, through five games, has graded my Cowboy receiving core 25th best in the league. That's what Cooper Rush is throwing Scott, to. I've been trying to tell you that all offseason. i tell you that coming into the season. Okay, you didn't okay, want to I'm, hear me. I'm, I'm, I'm buying you, uh, okay. what, what you're selling. And then Dalton Schultz, they franchise tagged him. He's been a ghost in the four games with Cooper Rush. He hurt his knee, banged up his knee. I don't know what's wrong with it. But the point is that they, they have got no production mm -hmm. from the tight end that was a security blanket for Dak. So he, he's not even working with any tight end. And then let's look at the vaunted Cowboy rushing attack, shall we? Would you believe they're 22nd in the league in yards per attempt? Rushing yards per mm -hmm. attempt, yards per carry. They rank 22nd in the league. Well, that's horrible. Isn't a running game supposed to be the quarterback's best friend? Yeah. Well, they really don't have one because in pass blocking, pro football, I'm sorry, run blocking, pro football focus grades, my offensive line, 27th best in the league as run blockers. 27th best? This is what Cooper Rush is overcoming. Uh, a, let's be nice. A below average receiving core and a way below average running attack. Well, that just goes to show you how great your defense has been playing because you have below average receivers, below average running backs, mm -hmm. below average block blocking, and a below average quarterback, mm -hmm. and you won four of those games in which you started. That? How so do they we do cut that? their defense. Your defense has been outstanding. Would you believe my team is 26th in the league in time of possession? So it's not like we're exactly controlling the clock by grounding away with a ground and Well, pound. let me tell you why you're not controlling the clock mm -hmm. because Cooper Rush can't stay on the field on third downs. The way you control the clock is to convert third downs, and he doesn't do that at a very high level. All he has done is game after game after game, all five of his starts, including at Minnesota last year, every time he has been called upon to make a throw to win or save the game, he's made every single one of them. 
he has come up clutch again and again and again. I call him the answer man because every time they get in any kind of trouble, they trail or they're tied, he says, watch this, well, Cooper, I got you. Well, if Cooper Rush is the answer, you're asking the wrong questions. Mm. Okay. That's all I know. If he's the answer, you're asking the wrong questions. Five and oh. So let's think about this. Dak Prescott is six and six in his last 12 starts. But let's go back a little farther. He's 18 and 18 in his last 36 starts. Cooper Rush is five and oh. How do you do that? How do you explain that? Well, you can't. I've asked you, what's wrong with Cooper Rush? Is he inaccurate? Does he not have enough velocity? Is he too immobile? And you say, uh, I don't, The numbers, I, don't know. I mean, when you throw it for 200 yards and you're mm. winning games and you're, 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 you're that bad on third down, mm. uh, so your defense. Skip, I mean, you, now, this is what I don't get. You said at the beginning of the season, take offense quarterback out of it. It was going to be because of the defense. We're only going to go as far. Now you're not even, you haven't mentioned the defense. All you talked about is how great Cooper Rush has been. When you said we're only going to go as far as Michael, uh, uh, excuse me, Michael Parsons and Micah and his marauders, you have yet to mention the defense when you said you're out of your very mouth. We're only going to go as far as he carries. I've said that, and it's a given, and I first guessed it. I didn't third guess it. I, that's that, that's right in the middle of the table. They've been very good. They haven't been all-time great. They're third in points allowed. That's very okay? good. So it's not exactly 85 let me, Bears, let, 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 2,000 let me, Ravens, let me 2,002 question. Bucks. Let me ask you a question. Where are you in scoring offense? If you don't mind me okay. asking. All we do is win because, in the end, over his four games that he's won this year, yes. we're fourth in scoring margin, yeah. in, in, in point differential. Just, just look it up. Yeah. Point differential over those four games. We're plus 37. That's all I care about because that ranks fourth in the NFL. Yeah. That'll that'll take you through the playoffs, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, Skip. When you when you when your your defense gives up 10 mm -hmm. and 10 in back-to-back -back games, yep. give up 16 and give up 17. He's never had to score more than 17 points in the game in order to win a game. Okay. I mean, well, he's had to score because 17, that was the most someone's got, and that was Cincinnati guy, and they kicked him walk up field goal, got to 20. So when someone gets to that 20, if someone gets to 20. Can he get to 25, 27, 28? Okay. If someone gets to 30, can so he get to just more? just as this, if, if we're to believe that it's going to be a Cooper Rush start, I'm still not convinced of that. I, it could you be a big convinced. Jerry Jones splash hey, on hey, Sunday hey, night. Hey, but hey, the hey, point hey, is, hey, if, hey, if you're right, if that it's trending toward Cooper Rush, okay. my defense is going to face at least as big a test as Cooper Rush is going to face at Philadelphia I on think a that, Sunday I think night. Eagles, I, I, th I, I think the Eagles have the tougher assignment, but I think they're better equipped to deal with it because of, of the Jalen Hurts and the receiving core and the running game and the offensive line they have. Okay, the so offensive think, line is simply the best in pro football. So, it's the best. So the, and the receiving core is up. It's it's at least top five. It could be top two. Okay. So if that's the case, it's strength against strength. You said your Cowboys defense, Eagles offense. Now, can the Eagles, which I believe have a slight advantage over your offense, can they take advantage? Can they put Cooper Rush in a situation to coax a turnover, a strip sack, a pick. Okay, I'm I not saying it. a pick six, but I'm saying can they can can they make him look like he's been looking, like all he's been along. looking when he's turned it over zero times in four games. That's how bad he's played no, so far. No, I huh. need I need them to make him get to 24, 27 points, which I do not believe he's okay, capable. Okay, I believe of. he's capable of whatever is required of him I during don't. the game. And I am here. I will put my heart and soul on it. Well, put your my, do on it. Okay. Well, I said if you give me the six no, and a half. No, Skip. You won't. You just spent. Uh, you just spent 15 minutes telling me people in the world how great Cooper Rush is, and now you want points. Okay. Why would you do that? Because I, I, I told you, number one, I'm not going to pick my team and jinx my team. That's number one. But I will take the point. If you want to do that, because the gums that have been bumped the loudest are bumped no, over no, there. Because you just. You, you called him an intern. Yeah. Yes, yeah, you yeah. called him a yeah, J.A.G. Yeah, Jag, yeah. just another guy. Yeah. You called him, yes, an undrafted fraud what? about to be turned back into a Halloween and, pumpkin. And, and you know, Am I right? And you know interns, they got, you know, six months, six weeks, eight yeah. weeks. Well, this know. is it. His time ran out. No, I, He's got to go back to school. I, I don't know. I don't know, Jerry. I think Jerry, Jerry really likes this intern, so he might keep him on a little I, bit I don't longer. think he likes him. This intern has no personality, has no rough edge. He has no backstory. That, he, there, you said there's no there, there. That's the great Gertrude Stein line yeah. about Oakland. That's yeah. what she wrote. No, there, there. But there's no there there with Cooper Rush, except 
he makes plays that Dak has not consistently that's, made. That's why Jerry likes him. Huh. There's no there there, and there's no competition. Dak, no matter what you think, now Jerry is the face of the Cowboys, but there is some competition with Dak Prescott. There is no competition with Cooper Rush because, like you said, he has no personality. He has no 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 pizzazz, no no oof, no no reason. Like, oh, that's my guy. Let me go out and buy a number ten no, jersey. There's no, none of that there's there. There's no emotion. There yeah. are no national TV commercials. There's no ego. There's no feelings to get hurt. He he displays no feelings, no emotion, no nothing. He's a cipher. It, it's hard to wrap your arms around him because he's what? He kind of looks like Carson Wentz, except. This, this Carson Wentz, quote-unquote, has an incredible feel for playing the position that is the hardest position to play I, in sports. Before we go, I just want to know one thing. Which of these four games do you feel Dak Prescott would have lost? Washington, definitely at home. They were in trouble. Washington ran wild on them, ran for 142. Cowboys that day ran for a grand total of 62 yards. They got outplayed every way, shape, or form, except that my quarterback made four or five throws that won the game. Right. That's what he keeps doing. He made three big throws late against Cincinnati that won the game. In, in New York, he answered their 13-6 to six explosion of a lead thanks to Saquon with two straight drives in which he completed 12 of 13 passes. He actually threw the ball and it got caught 12 of 13 times for 129 yards in two straight drives that put the game back in favor of Dallas and put it away. That's what he just keeps doing. Okay. And in the end, what I was going to say, I believe with all my heart and soul, he gives me a little better chance of winning at Philadelphia, which is virtually impossible at this point because that's the big green machine right now. They got it going. They got it going on defense. But on offense, they are a juggernaut right now. They are going to run it down your throat. And Jalen Hurts, is. you've never had a lot of respect for Jalen Hurts. You've never been sold on him. I've been sold from the very start. He scares me to death. I love everything about Jalen Hurts, and he has fixed his throwing with thanks to Tom House. It, it, it's coming out sweet now. Uh, I don't think Coach Saban would be replay, yanking him out of the game now because right now they are rolling. They're going to be hard to defend even for my defense. So the point is, you're right. If Cooper Rush is going to win this game, he's going to have to make more throws than he's had to make in any of his five okay. starts so far. So, again, I'll take the six and a half points because I, this is what I believe. Cooper Rush will not embarrass me. I don't think he'll get exposed as a fraud. I think he'll play just the way he's played in the five Which won't be good games. enough to win. That's okay, why well, it may not be because Philly might just be that good, they, the, that hot. I don't know how good. Like, well, we're going to talk about D-Law, what D-Law said, but we're going to find out. Mm. I just don't believe Cooper Rush. I'm not talking about the Eagles. I don't care about anything else. I don't care about the bird that's going to fly over the flagpole at 12 mm. o'clock noon on Sunday. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is that Cooper Rush isn't. That good. Okay, you say he's going to be exposed, and we'll see. And I'll take the six and a half any moment in this show until we're off the air. If you want the six and no, a half, give me the six and a half. I, I will do it. I don't. I'm straight up. Yep. No, straight up. That means you are afraid. No, that of means you're Cooper afraid. Rush. If you skip, you've never asked for points with Tom Brady. Mm. You've never asked for points with any of those guys that you believe in. Now you want points because he's an, you know he's an intern. Yeah, exactly. He's an intern. exactly. I'm glad you came around to my side to see he's that. He's an intern. It's, it's just been a fluke that he that somehow man. went 5-0. and oh. It's flukish. It's an aberration. It's an outlier. 5-0 oh outlier. Finally, you put that old man to bed education yeah. to use. Started yep. using your head. Yeah. Well, yeah. My hard head. Yeah. I'm using it. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yeah. I'll I, take the six. I got to go back and look. I mean, you know, people have been fabricating. I got to check and see if you really graduated from Bandit Bed. I graduated. People have been fabricating to talk about they graduated and that <laughs> was magna cum laude and yeah, said well, things. I, I was just cum laude, but I graduated mm -hmm. cum laude. You mm -hmm. can look it up. I, I, I'm going to do that after this. I'm going to do that after the show. Yep. And see if now. Nah. All right, gentlemen. I don't see you know your books. That Eagles pass rush number two <laughs> in the NFL. So Ooh, it will be no a joke. great litmus test for Cooper Rush yeah, to see one. which one of you is correct. We will break it down Monday morning, I know. Mm -hmm. All right. right. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.